The Philippine Navy is taking a bold step forward in its modernization journey. At the heart of the naval shipyard, engineers and designers are developing a new landing craft vessel, a milestone project that showcases the Philippines' growing shipbuilding capability under the Self-Reliant Defense Posture Program. This is more than just another vessel. It's a statement. The Philippines is serious about building a defense industry that can sustain its own future. Let's explore why this new landing craft matters and how it will shape the Navy's amphibious and logistics support force. The Philippine Navy's Sea Lift Amphibious Force is the backbone of amphibious and logistics operations. For decades, the Navy has relied heavily on older platforms like the Bacolod City Class Landing Ship Tank, originally acquired from allies such as the United States, Australia, and South Korea through foreign military sales programs. While these ships have served well, many are aging and limited compared to modern requirements. The delivery of the Tarlac-class landing platform docks, built in Indonesia, marked a major leap in sea lift capability, but the fleet still needs versatile, locally sustainable vessels to handle troop deployment, disaster response, and resupply missions. This is where the new landing craft design comes in, a ship tailored specifically to Philippine operational needs. Unlike older vessels, the new landing craft will be designed and developed in the Philippines by the Naval Shipyard. This is a significant milestone because it's not just about acquiring ships, it's about building the capacity to design, innovate, and manufacture within the country. While exact specifications are still being finalized, the vessel is expected to feature enhanced cargo and troop capacity for amphibious operations, a modernized design for faster loading and unloading of vehicles and supplies, flexible capabilities for both military and humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief missions. This means the ship won't just be for combat support, but also for life-saving operations during natural disasters, something the Philippines unfortunately faces almost every year. The project aligns with the government's Self-Reliant Defense Posture Program, or SRDP. Under this policy, the Department of National Defense is tasked to formulate and implement strategies that revitalize the local defense industry. The SRDP has three main goals, to address the short-term needs of the armed forces through local production and upgrades, build medium-term capability to design and manufacture major platforms like ships, armored vehicles, and weapons, and develop a long-term sustainable defense industry that reduces dependence on foreign suppliers. The new landing craft vessel is a concrete example of SRDP in motion. It shows that the Philippines is no longer content with relying solely on imported platforms. It wants to build its own. The Sealift Amphibious Force plays a critical role in both wartime and peacetime operations. In military terms, these ships are vital for amphibious assault, logistics resupply, and troop mobility across the Philippine archipelago. In peacetime, they serve as humanitarian lifelines, delivering relief supplies, evacuating civilians, and transporting aid during typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. By designing a landing craft locally, the Navy ensures that future sea lift operations can be supported by vessels that are purpose-built for Philippine conditions, terrain, and mission requirements. The bigger picture is about independence. For years, the Philippines has relied on donations, second-hand acquisitions, and foreign military sales to sustain its fleet. While these have been essential, they also limit self-sufficiency. By investing in domestic ship design and construction, the Navy not only secures vessels for today, but also builds the expertise, jobs, and technology for tomorrow. This is the path toward a credible and self-reliant defense posture, where the Philippines can say, we can build, maintain, and sustain our own Navy. The new landing craft vessel being designed by the Naval Shipyard is more than just a ship. It is a symbol of progress, of independence, and of the Philippines' determination to modernize its armed forces with homegrown capabilities. It supports the backbone of the Navy's logistics, the Sealift Amphibious Force, while also pushing the country closer to the vision of a strong, self-reliant defense industry. The question now is, 
Can the Philippines sustain this momentum and turn this milestone into a long-term tradition of local naval innovation? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Philippine defense modernization. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.